aerated concrete block production line equipment. Deyi is one of the earliest developers and manufacturers of air rollover aerated concrete block production lines in the central plain aerated concrete industry. The innovatively improved DYKF series air rollover cutter opens a new cutter market, widely sold at home and abroad and critically acclaimed. The 100,000 to 400,000 cubic meter air rollover aerated concrete block production line developed with German technology feature the following characteristics. 1. With Adobe's vertically placed, the cutter equipped with short, durable steel cutting wires provides high cutting precision. 2. With a vertical cutting device fixed and short cutting time, the steel wire cuts horizontally and thus ensures precision. 3. The Adobe's will be cut in six sites and the brick quality not affected by mold oil and mold deformation. 4. Aerated concrete panels as well as aerated concrete blocks can be manufactured. 5. The simply and practically structured cutter is easy to install and maintain. Cutting process of air rollover cutter unit. Rollover, vertical cut, horizontal cut to be completed in different stations. Simplified operation, easy to operate and maintain. How aerated concrete block production line works. Fly ash or sand will be first ground in the ball mill and made into slurry of a certain concentration and stored in the slurry tank. Cements and processed limes will be respectively transferred to the storage silo for storage. The prepared raw materials will be measured by the slurry electronic gauge in the dosing tower and limes and cements sent to the dosing tower through screw conveyor and measured and all sent to the pouring mixer through the feeding equipment for high-speed mixing. All measurements are collectively controlled by PLC in the dozing tower. The mixed slurry will then be poured into the empty mold frames by the pouring machine. The poured mold frames will be sent to the designated atmospheric pressure curing track by the ferry push and then sent to the designated track for constant temperature curing. Meanwhile, the empty oiled mold frames will be returned to the spot below the pouring mixer by the ferry push for pouring again. After two to three hours of constant temperature curing, the concrete body good for cutting will be sent to the to-be-cut track with the mold frames. Moved under the rollover hoist, the mold frames will be automatically hoisted and moved onto the cutting station, rolled over by 90 degrees and placed on the trolley stand, and the mechanical arm of the rollover hoist will automatically start demolding. The concrete body will be placed edge-on in the cutting trolley with the side plates. Meanwhile, the rollover hoist will automatically start grouping the molds in the mold grouping stations. The empty group mold frames will be hoisted back to the return track and oiled. The demolded concrete body will be cut by step. Firstly, the first cutting trolley will move the concrete body to the vertical cutting device for vertical cutting to be cut by cutting blades and cylinder tension cutting wires on the sides. Horizontal cutting is made by saw swinging cutting wires. After the concrete body is cut, the trolley replacement device will be started and the oil cylinder will be replaced. And cut concrete body and side place will be jacked up. The first trolley will be returned to the initial position to carry new concrete body to be cut and the second trolley will step in and carry the concrete body and side place to the vacuum suction position. The vacuum suction fan will start to suck all the waste materials off the top of the concrete body. And then the second trolley will carry the concrete body away from the vacuum suction position and the vacuum suction fan will stop. The waste material suck will fall under the recycling trough. The concrete body and side place will be moved under the semi-finished product hoist. The hoist will then transfer the cut concrete body to the steam curing trolley for pre-grouping. Meanwhile, the empty side place will be sent back to the side plate track by the hoist and return to the mold assembly position. The pre-grouped steam curing trolley will be transferred by the conveyor device to the front of the autoclave for pre-autoclave grouping. The group steam curing trolley will be pulled into the autoclave by slow motion winch for autoclave curing. After 8 to 10 hours of curing, the finished product and side place will be pulled out of the autoclave by the winch and then placed to the conveyor track by the semi-finished product hoist and moved under the finished product hoist. 
The finished products will then be moved by the finished product clamps to the wood pallets of the packaging line, categorized and packed manually, and transferred to the finished product site by the forklift for storage. The side plates will then be cleaned and hoisted back to the steam curing trolley return line by the finishing product hoist and returned to the pre-grouping steam curing trolley position by the conveyor device. The production line continues production by repeating the above-mentioned production processes.